Hello and welcome to some Photoshop cheats. These videos will be really quick tutorials to show you how you can improve your boards. Before I get started, just make sure that you guys have your layers and your properties uh, tools, uh, sorry, menus open. And you can get to those by going up to window and then I've got my layers here. And then also make sure that you have your properties on as well. Mine is on and it just hopped over to it. So these are the only two that I really need you to use right now. So to get started, I borrowed some student work and what I'm going to do is crop this image to start. So to go to crop, I'm going to hit C and you can see that my cursor changes as well as my menu. I'm going to hit escape real quick and go over one other thing. By default, I want you guys to be in V or move selection. So look at my cursor. This is what it looks like in V. And then when I go to C for crop, this is what it looks like. So C and then V and kind of toggle back and forth between the two. When I hop into crop, you can either drag from any corner and surround your artwork with your crop area or if you want a certain ratio if you look up here at the upper left you can make it square original ratio whatever ratio you'd like to do for example if you set a square ratio you can make it square and then let's say, for example, the next time you go to crop, it's still set to square. Sorry, I'm struggling to get this in a square. There we go. We'll call that good. The next time you go to crop, you would just hit clear to get rid of that ratio. Now, if I'm uh, satisfied with the crop view, hit enter, and it goes ahead and crops your work for you. Now, um, to do a couple edits on here, the, the levels on this looks pretty good. Now, just so you guys know, I'm zoomed in quite a bit for this example. I can zoom out a little so it doesn't look too fuzzy. But there's two other things that I want to do while I'm in here. If you go to your um, layer adjustments down here, you can add either brightness, contrast, or levels and play with the brightness and contrast of your work. Now don't turn it up too much so you don't start losing your nice details, but again, these are great tools if your drawings look a little muddy. This is a pretty good scan, so I really don't need to do that much, but I just wanted to let you know where those layer adjustments exist. So again, the two most helpful, brightness, contrast, or levels. Okay, now the last thing that I wanted to show you is let's say you wanted to put this artwork or this sketch on a black background. You can easily invert the layer by selecting the layer and hitting Command or Control I. It inverts the color work for you. So again, make sure you click on the layer. Command or Control I inverts it for you. All right, that's it for this quick tutorial, thanks. 